Are you feeling ensnared, caught in a relentless cycle that seems to have no end? Do you feel as though the control you once had is slipping through your fingers like grains of sand? Today, we're going to delve into a sensitive but crucial topic, overcoming porn addiction. In this modern world, where adult content is just a click away, it's easy to fall into the trap of excessive consumption. But remember, it's also possible to break free and regain control. Today, we'll explore 12 ways to end your porn addiction, inspired by the principles of Stoicism. It's a subject that's often cloaked in shame and secrecy, but it's a conversation we need to have. It's a conversation that could change lives. Remember, every monumental journey begins with a single, resolute step. And today, we take that step together. We step into the light, away from the shadows of guilt and regret. We step towards understanding, acceptance, and ultimately, freedom. This is not just about breaking free from a cycle. It's about reclaiming control, rediscovering self-worth, and reigniting the spark of hope. If this video touches your heart, or if you know someone who could benefit from it, please hit the subscribe button, give us a like, and share this video. Your support means the world to us, and it helps us reach more people who might be struggling in silence. Remember, it's okay to ask for help, and it's okay to offer help. Together, we can make a difference. So, let's embark on this journey together, hand in hand, step by step, towards a brighter, healthier future. Lesson number one, acknowledge the issue. The first and most crucial step towards overcoming any addiction, including porn addiction, is acknowledging it. This is not a sign of weakness, but a testament to your strength and courage. It's about facing the reality of your situation, a principle that aligns with Stoicism's teachings of accepting reality as it is. It's okay to admit that you're struggling. In fact, it's more than okay. It's a sign of strength, a sign of your willingness to change. Remember, admitting the problem is the first step towards solving it. So, take a deep breath, look yourself in the mirror, and say it out loud. I have a problem, and I am ready to tackle it. This is the first step towards your freedom, towards a life that is not controlled by addiction, but by your own choices and actions. Lesson number two, understand the impact. The next step is to understand how porn addiction is affecting your life. Take a moment to reflect on its impact on your relationships, your productivity, your mental health, and your overall well-being. This understanding can be a powerful motivator for change. It's about realizing the cost of your addiction, the opportunities you're missing out on, the relationships you're straining, and the mental toll it's taking on you. Stoicism teaches us to focus on what's within our control, and changing our habits is within our control. So, armed with this understanding, make a commitment to change. Remember, the power to change your life lies within you. You have the strength, the courage, and the will to overcome this addiction. And we're here to help you every step of the way. We're here to provide you with the tools, the resources, and the support you need to break free from the chains of addiction and reclaim your life. So let's take this journey together, one step at a time, towards a life of freedom, fulfillment, and happiness. Lesson number three, seek professional help. There's a saying that goes, no man is an island, and it rings true, especially when dealing with something as challenging as overcoming porn addiction. It's crucial to seek professional help. Therapists and counselors, specifically trained in addiction recovery, can provide you with strategies, tools, and techniques to overcome your addiction. They can guide you through the process, helping you understand your triggers and teaching you how to cope with them. Stoicism encourages us to seek wisdom, 
and sometimes that wisdom comes from others. It's about recognizing that we don't have all the answers, and that's okay. It's about being open to learning, growing, and healing. So, don't hesitate to seek help. Reach out to professionals who can guide you on this journey. Remember, asking for help isn't a sign of weakness, it's a sign of strength. It shows that you're committed to change, that you're willing to do whatever it takes to reclaim your life. Lesson number four, limit internet use. In this digital age where we're constantly connected, limiting internet use might sound like a Herculean task, but it's an effective strategy in combating porn addiction. It's about creating boundaries, about knowing when to disconnect, limit your internet use especially during the hours when you're most likely to view porn. It's about taking control of your environment, of your triggers. Stoicism teaches us about moderation and self-control, and this is a practical application of those principles. It's about understanding that we have the power to control our actions, our responses. So, set limits. Create a schedule that promotes healthy internet use. Engage in activities that enrich you, that take you away from the screen. Remember, every small step, every little change, brings you one step closer to overcoming your addiction. You have the power to change your habits, to change your life, and we're here to help you every step of the way. Lesson number five, find healthy hobbies. Engaging in activities that you enjoy can serve as a powerful distraction from the urge to view porn. It could be anything. Reading a captivating novel, painting a beautiful landscape, playing a thrilling sport, or learning a new skill like playing a musical instrument or a new language. The key is to find something that you love, something that ignites your passion and captures your interest. Stoicism encourages us to pursue virtuous activities, activities that enrich our lives and contribute to our growth as individuals. Finding healthy hobbies aligns perfectly with this principle. It's about replacing a harmful habit with a beneficial one, about channeling your energy into something positive and productive. So, explore your interests, discover your passions, and immerse yourself in activities that bring you joy and fulfillment. Lesson number six, practice mindfulness. Mindfulness, the practice of being fully present and engaged in the current moment, can be a powerful tool in managing your urges. It's about observing your thoughts and feelings without judgment, about understanding your triggers and learning how to respond to them effectively. Practice mindfulness exercises like meditation and deep breathing to stay focused on the present moment. This aligns with the stoic practice of being present and not worrying about the past or future. It's about understanding that the past is gone and the future is yet to come and all we truly have is the present moment. So, embrace it. Practice mindfulness. Cultivate self-awareness and learn to navigate your thoughts and emotions with grace and wisdom. Remember, every moment of mindfulness brings you one step closer to overcoming your addiction. Lesson number seven, build a support network. One of the most powerful tools in overcoming any addiction, including porn addiction, is building a strong support network. Surround yourself with positive influences, people who inspire you, motivate you, and support you in your journey. These could be friends, family members, or even support groups specifically designed for people struggling with similar issues. They can provide emotional support, encouragement, and a safe space for you to express your feelings and experiences. Stoicism values community and the support it provides. It teaches us that we are not alone in our struggles, that we are part of a larger community that cares for us and supports us. So, reach out, connect with others, 
share your journey. Remember, it's okay to lean on others for support. It's okay to ask for help. You're not alone in this journey, and together we can overcome anything. Lesson number eight, set clear boundaries. In the journey towards overcoming porn addiction, setting clear boundaries for your internet use is crucial. It's about taking control of your environment, about creating a safe and healthy space for yourself. Use website blockers or parental control software to block adult content. This is not about restricting your freedom, but about protecting your well-being. It's a practical application of the Stoic principle of discipline. Stoicism teaches us that discipline is not a restriction, but a means to freedom. It's about choosing what's best for us, about making decisions that align with our values and goals. So, set clear boundaries. Take control of your internet use. Remember, every boundary you set is a step towards your freedom a step towards overcoming your addiction. You have the power to change your habits, to change your life, and we're here to help you every step of the way. Lesson number nine, stay physically active. Regular physical activity is not just beneficial for your body, but also for your mind. It can significantly reduce anxiety, improve mood, and boost your overall well-being helping you resist the urge to view porn. Whether it's a brisk walk in the park, a vigorous workout at the gym, or a peaceful yoga session at home, find a physical activity that you enjoy and make it a part of your daily routine. Stoicism encourages us to take care of our physical health as part of our overall well-being. It teaches us that our body is a temple and we must treat it with respect and care. So, lace up your shoes, get moving, and let the endorphins flow. Remember, a healthy body leads to a healthy mind, and a healthy mind is more resilient to addiction. Physical activity is not just about staying fit, it's about creating a positive outlet for your energy. It's about building strength and resilience, both physically and mentally. Lesson number 10, practice self-care. Self-care is not a luxury, but a necessity. It's about taking care of your physical, emotional, and mental health. It's about nourishing your body with a balanced diet, rejuvenating your mind with enough sleep, and managing stress with effective techniques like meditation, deep breathing, or even a simple walk in nature. Stoicism teaches us that self-care is not selfish, but necessary for our well-being. It's about understanding that in order to take care of others, we must first take care of ourselves. So make self-care a priority. Listen to your body, understand your emotions, and take care of your mental health. Remember, you're not alone in this journey. Reach out for help when you need it, and never forget to take care of yourself. Because you matter, your health matters, and you deserve to live a life free from addiction. Self-care is about recognizing your worth and taking steps to maintain your health and well-being. It's about setting boundaries, honoring your needs, and making time for activities that nourish your soul. It's about treating yourself with kindness and compassion and recognizing that you deserve to be taken care of. So, Prioritize self-care because you are important and your well-being matters. Lesson number 11, forgive yourself. Recovery is indeed a journey, a journey that might be filled with setbacks and challenges. But remember, it's these challenges that make us stronger, that shape us into the person we are meant to be. If you slip up, if you stumble, forgive yourself. Don't let guilt or shame pull you down. Instead, use it as a stepping stone, a learning experience. Stoicism teaches us to learn from our mistakes, not to be defined by them. It teaches us that our past does not define our future, that we have the power to change, to grow, to evolve. So, if you stumble, pick yourself up, 
dust yourself off and get back on track. Remember, it's not about how many times you fall, but about how many times you get back up. So, forgive yourself, learn from your mistakes, and keep moving forward. Because you are stronger than your addiction, you are more than your mistakes, and you have the power to overcome anything. Lesson number 12. Stay committed. Overcoming addiction is not easy, and it doesn't happen overnight. It's a process, a journey that requires commitment, perseverance, and resilience. Stay committed to your recovery process. Celebrate your progress, no matter how small. Every step you take, every day you choose not to give in to your addiction, is a victory. Stoicism teaches us that persistence is key to overcoming challenges. It teaches us that it's not about the destination, but about the journey. It's about staying committed, staying strong, even when the road gets tough. So, celebrate your victories, learn from your setbacks, and stay committed to your journey. Remember, every step you take brings you one step closer to your goal. So, keep going, keep fighting, and never give up. Because you are stronger than you think, and you have the power to overcome anything. Conclusion In conclusion, I want to remind you that it's perfectly okay to ask for help, and it's okay to struggle. Struggle is a part of growth. It's a part of the journey towards becoming a better version of ourselves. You're not alone in this journey. There are countless others who are walking the same path, who are facing the same challenges, and there are countless more who have walked this path before you and have come out stronger on the other side. With determination, unwavering support, and the right strategies, you can overcome your porn addiction. It won't be easy, and it won't happen overnight, but with each passing day, with each small victory, you'll get closer to your goal. As the Stoics would say, the obstacle is the way. This means that the very challenges and obstacles that we face are the paths towards our growth and improvement. Your addiction is not a dead end, but a path towards self-improvement, self-discovery, and self-mastery. Thank you for watching and remember, you're stronger than your addiction. You have the power within you to overcome any challenge, to conquer any obstacle. Believe in yourself. Stay committed to your journey and never lose hope. See you in the next video where we will continue this journey together one step at a time towards a life free from addiction, a life full of potential, happiness and fulfillment. Until then, take care of yourself, stay strong and keep fighting because you're worth it and you deserve a life free from addiction.